Hello everyone, uh, today is February the 7th, 2018. Since our class is canceled today, I was going to talk about these problems in, in class today, but uh, since it's canceled, uh, I will make a video so you can watch it uh, at the pleasure of your apartment. Um, so, you will find that once you start working on the, these homeworks, every one of them is a bit tricky. Every one of them is a bit tricky. Uh, and this is uh, what we wanted. We want the, the homework problems to be a bit tricky. You have time to actually reflect on these questions. Uh, so, and also I ref reformatted my uh, sheet so I have, have one problem on each sheet. It's easier to look at. Uh, all right. So the first one is probably the simplest. We talk about this in class. The thing you got to remember is that the y equal to zero start from here. Start from the fluid air interface. That's where you should do y equal to zero. Okay. Once you get that, the rest is simple. The rest is simple. Uh, the second problem. Okay, the second problem. I have it uh, printed here. This one is a bit hard because. Uh, you have to envision what it looks like here. Uh, here's the fluid level, and imagine this is a wall. It has some racks on it, and there's four feet of distance, okay, from the wall to the where the gate starts, okay. So the gate is about to be pulled upward, and there are some racks on it, and uh, of course there's some fr some friction with it. The, the way you want to solve this problem is you want to figure out where uh, the, the, the magnitude of, of FR, right? The magnitude of FR. The force that is supposed to pull this gate up need to overcome two things. The, the force need to overcome it's the weight plus the FR times this friction factor. Maybe we didn't talk about this in class. Okay, so I am adding this here. So this friction factor times 0.03 is uh, the friction forces exerted by the racks as you try to pull the gate up, okay? As you try to pull the gate up. Uh, all right, so that's the hint for, for, for this problem, okay? You need to understand, the other thing is that uh, the pressure prism acting on the, F, at the FR is not a triangle. The, the tri the, it's, a, it's a trapezoid, okay? And you only need to consider its initial condition. Uh, that is when it's actually four feet deep. Okay, when it's four feet deep. Of course, as you go up, as you go up, the uh, you know what would happen is this FR would actually decrease because once you go up, uh, and then the friction would, would reduce. But only we we only ask the initial condition. All right. Okay. This problem. This problem can be tricky. Or it cannot. It, it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. Think about this um, um, this gate, this hatch here. The pressure prism. Let's draw what that is. Okay, that's this. Uh, it's a, it's a trapezoid, right? It's a trapezoid. You can do this really in two ways. Uh, you can really do this in two ways. One is you can use this formula that uh, to figure out where the where the centroid is. First of all, you figure out where the centroid is. Right? And this is 30 degrees. Therefore, the centroid, okay, the depth of the centroid is, of course, this 10 meters plus half of this, which is half, times the length of that is 2 meter times sine 30 degrees, right? So with HC, sorry, my kids is outside. This, they're making some noises. Please, uh, never mind them. Uh, All right, yeah. Um, so with this HC, you can calculate what uh, the FR is, right? FR is essentially gamma HC times the area. Um, please don't mind my kids. Uh, the uh, of course now now that you have this FR, we need to locate it, right? We need to locate it. So you can use what the what the first approach. In, in class is that we talked about is uh, that yr is equal to the y centroid plus ixc over yca okay you can do that okay you can do that remember still this y need to start from the fluid interface okay so you have to extrapolate it and this is where this y 
equal to zero is. Okay, this is one approach. Okay, one approach. Uh, the second approach that you can take is the fruit ninja approach, like I said before. Okay, this part, this part. Um, if we cut it in two, imagine what this rectangle is. This first rectangle, let's call it part one. This part one has uh, is in this pressure here is inherited from all this 10 meter above, right? So you have uh, F1 is equal to gamma times 10 times the area, right? How about the second part? The second part, you know, the, with the fruit ninja approach, it is a little challenging, and it's not exactly what we talked about in class, uh, but the principle is the F2 is uh, half of gamma times this maximum value here. Maximum times this maximum value, right? What is that maximum value? That maximum value is gamma times uh, 2 times sine 30 degrees. Okay, this multiplied by A. All right, so the maximum value, again, the maximum value is gamma 2 sine 30 degrees. So half of that, is, which is here, okay, when we did the pre triangular pressure prism, uh, we said it's uh, this this average pressure this this average uh, pressure prism is half of the maximum value. Okay, so this is not exactly what we talked about in class, and I think it's a good problem. So it reinforces uh, this concept of how you do a pressure prism when it's inclined. All right, then then you can you can figure out, uh, and we know where F one and F two are located. Uh, F one is at the center here. F2 is uh, two thirds down from the smaller side, this here. Then you can figure out what their moment are. And you have on the other side, the pressure acting on it that needs to balance out the moment that, that acts through the center. So there's a lot of hoops to go through, but I think it's overall a good problem that reinforces a lot of different concepts. All right, I stop this video here and I follow up with, uh, with the other problems in the next video.